Hey, David Risley here with Blog Marketing Academy with another reader question of the day. And this one is from Frank Angeloni. Hopefully I'm pronouncing your name right, Frank. Um, I know you've guest posted for the Academy blog before, and I think I still got one re uh, in the queue uh, to be published. But anyway, Frank is a, a really good writer, and he's over at Social Tech Zone. Dot com. And he's asking today, is it still possible to make decent money with Google AdSense? And he sent a, a little bit of background information. He was basically saying that all the talk is related to more traffic and specific ad placement to optimize your click-through rate. However, with so many bloggers using it, is there much money to be made in this area of blogging? And what are the most effective ways to properly imp implement it, in your opinion? So it's a really good question, and I know one that's going to be on the minds of a lot of people, and it really just comes down to this. AdSense is the lowest common denominator of making money with the blog. It is easy, and therefore, it doesn't pay very well. And so typically, yes, those people who do make good money with AdSense, it's because they, are, they have a lot of traffic, typically. The thing about AdSense is that a lot of people who go to Google with an advertising budget some, a lot of them tend to find the content sites of wh that which are all of us are fairly low value. So they're going to spend more of their budget probably with the search side of it because it's more targeted than the content network, which is all of us. Now, there are exceptions to that. Typically, it's going to be um, if you are if the person is already in a buying mentality. Now, that leads me to my primary point. You were asking, how do you properly implement it? Well, in my opinion, the best way to make money with AdSense is to have a website which is designed to cater to people who are in the buyer's mindset, people who are looking to buy something, and they're literally just looking for something to put them over the edge. So review sites, things that talk about equipment and things that are uh, that that they might be buying or they're looking to buy. Those types of things can perform fairly well with AdSense. Um, if, if you look at, net, uh, at at markets where people like to spend money, if you're in those markets talking about it, then it, it might make you perform fairly well in AdSense. Um, so it really comes down to your content and what you're talking about. Um, now, in a, in a tech market, which I, I come from, and I know you're talking about it, Frank, um, it, it's difficult because it's a very, very large saturated market. And if you're talking about a, a broad array of topics under the tech umbrella, it's going to be hard to target with AdSense um, unless you throw a lot of traffic at it. If you're more targeted and you're specifically and on purpose, talking about things that are going to attract potential buyers, like product reviews, uh, comparisons, uh, you know, this versus that, um, things where you actually have keywords in the article that are designed to attract people who are looking for that specific thing and they're looking to buy it, and these are people with their wallet open, then it's going to make your site more attractive. You're also going to typically find, because of that same reasoning, that AdSense income tends to be seasonal. So around the end of the year, as we're going into the holidays here, you're, a lot of people are going to find their AdSense income will increase, and it's because there's a lot more people out there surfing around that are in the buyer's mindset. Um, and the advertisers know it, and they want to tap into that. During the, the, the rest of the year, it's kind of more up to you to attract them. So generally, you're, you're up against the fact that AdSense tends to not perform super well for the advertiser on the content network unless you have a site that is attracting buyers' mindset people because that's what these advertisers are after. They're after people who are going to spend money. And if they don't find people who are willing and wanting to spend money on your site, they're not going to put the budget into it, and therefore you're not going to make as much money with AdSense. Other than that ch primary thing, it really does come down to getting as much traffic as possible, optimizing your click-through rate, all the stuff that you had already mentioned, and there's lots of stuff out there on that, you know, optimizing the color of the AdSense ads, the, the placement of it, all that stuff is really about the best you can do until you start getting into what you're actually writing about in the overall content direction of your site. That's really what's going to help. That's going to determine your AdSense income and how much um, you know your, your eCPM is, which is how much money you're going to be making per 1,000 impressions. Um, so hopefully that helped and will help anybody else who is out there using AdSense. Um, my last comment would be, 
Don't depend on AdSense. Be looking into other ways of making money because AdSense really is not a super good way to make money. You know, if you're if you're depending on Google for traffic, you're depending on Google to track your stats, and yes, you're depending on Google for your income as well. It's not a very secure business. You haven't really built anything because you're basically relying exclusively on Google, and it's extremely insecure, not a good place to be. All right, on that note, I will see you later. And again, if you have any other questions for me that you'd like for me to answer in this format, any of you guys watching, go to blogmarketingeconomy.com slash ask, and I look forward to seeing your questions. See you soon.